Welcome to another video from Guelao 60. Today I'm sitting by the pond. You can see on one side all big new high-rises and on the other side still old village. Yeah well that's gonna change real soon but that's not what this video is about. Today we're gonna be talking about you got it China's leftover women and it's it's sort of a phenomenon uh, just for the fact that there's 33.5 million more guys than girls. So why are there so much leftover women in, in China? Well, by the end of this video, I think that you'll probably understand a little bit more about it. I've been around China for a while now and uh, when I met my wife, yes, she was 32 years old. Was she a leftover woman? We're gonna have to ask her. By the end of this video, it probably won't fit into the, the ambiance <laughs> of the video, but by the end of this video, I'm gonna put in a clip and I'm gonna actually ask her that and you're gonna see her answer. And uh, I'm gonna have to corner her for this one because boy, she's a, she's a tough subject. Well, it, there's, there's a whole bunch of different reasons for this phenomenon in, in China. Just, uh, let's, let's start with rural, okay? When you're in rural China, and there's women in rural China, um, there are no leftover women. I guarantee that, because all of the women find husbands. But, then you get into, okay, um, for instance, uh, the girl goes to university in Nanning City from, say, Yulin. After she goes to university, she doesn't want to go back to Yulin. Why? Because Yulin is a, is a village. Um, the village is not some, some place that you can use your education. All right, unless you're into agriculture or whatever. University of Saskatchewan? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so... so this girl, she, she goes to Nanning and she gets her education and then she gets a job and she works like a dog six days a week, ten hours a day. All right, she really has no time or energy to go find a husband. So I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll, 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 I'll meet somebody, I'll find my, my, the love of my life uh, next week. Oh, it didn't happen this weekend, maybe next month or it'll happen next time, or you know, what, you know what I mean? So it's not just the, the culture, the, the understanding. The culture has a lot to do with it, and I'll get into that in a minute, but it, it's just regular life. It's, it's, it's nothing but regular life for a lot of these people, just like it is for you or me in a, in a Western country. Okay, so culture came into this too, all right. Um, there's more, there's, there's more men than women because in the rural countryside, the guys were preferred as children, yes. So yeah, there was a lot of abortions. Um, they, they didn't want girls, they wanted boys because the boys can carry on the family name and all of these other cultural things that, eh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I'd, uh, I had three daughters and that's fine. Um, but the Chinese don't think about it that way because the girls aren't going to be working on the farm. The girls, when they get married, they're going to be off to another family. That doesn't help me, you know, that's a, as a father or a mother. So the, the, it's, it's, it, it, it just sort of permeates the problem of, of too many men. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about leftover women. All right, so the leftover women, they go to the city and then there's all of these guys in the country. Yes, they're still in the countryside, in the rural areas. They're working the farms, or they're mechanics, or truck drivers, or whatever they are in, in, in rural, in rural uh, China. Well, okay, these educated Chinese ladies, they do not, as I said, they do not want to move back to the village. And their husbands have, or they're, they're would-be husbands, not husbands, would-be husbands have a less education than they do. Um, yeah, and, and you know how that might screw things up. 
uh, in a in a male dominated country like like China is, and it is a male dominated country, and it's and it has been, and it will be for some time, but it's it's slowly changing. So th these women don't see the benefit of marrying a guy from the farm. They've come from the farm. They know it's like there. Uh, so they look in the city for that husband that may never be there. Then there's uh, the phenomena, and still with the educated women in the city, yes, where they sort of amass uh, money, property, and whatever, and, and they're not going to share that with somebody that's got nothing. So there's another hurdle to getting married. Um, the, the women in China, not all, but, but some are materialistic. Wei Fong, is she material? My wife? Um, no, actually, she's, she's the most unmaterialistic woman I've ever met in my life. Uh, when her family comes and asks for help, she's the first one to step forward and say, yeah, no problem. What age do you turn into a leftover woman? Uh, you know, a lot of... See, it's not just the women that don't want to get married. A lot of times it's the guys that don't want to mar get married because, um, okay, say, say the woman is 40 years old and uh, she can't have children anymore. The Chinese culture is set up on having children, having, especially in the rural areas. In the, in the urban areas, one child policy, now two child policy, yeah, okay. Uh, they still want to have children, they still want to carry on that family name. But in the rural areas of China, it is super important to not only the, the husband, but to the husband's family. Uh, who's going to work the farm? Who's going to carry on the name? Who's you know? It's 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 in, it's ingrained in the people in rural China that that's how the family survives. That's how the family thrives. So if if the if the woman is a little bit older and can't have children, well, she's uh, less likely to find a mate. Another reason uh, for the leftover women is is becoming more prevalent in uh, in this day and age that wasn't there before is divorce. Yes, uh, fifteen years ago, you really didn't see a lot of divorce in a place like China because you married, you had children, you you know if things didn't work, you sucked it up for the kids, and and that's the way it is. Now, because the Chinese people are are more into the 21st century and into the way that the world works and and coming out of that dark era uh, if it's not working they understand that they're more educated they uh, they, they want a life that is uh, that they're in control of so when a, when a marriage isn't working they get divorced yeah, they do. Uh, I've seen it a number of times here in, in China, and uh, by the time they're divorced, yeah, they're most of them are a little bit older, and then you get into that thing, well, can you have kids? Do all of this other stuff. Or, you've already got a kid. Yeah, and then you've got this guy that says, well, I don't want to raise somebody else's kid. See, all of the things that are, that are uh, sort of making this phenomena possible, are things that happen not only in China but everywhere in the world. I'm not raising your kid. What do you mean you can't have kids? I'm not going to marry you. You're 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 from the farm, and I've got lots of money and and uh, an education and a and a nice big apartment in the city. The, see, there's so many different uh, what ifs and buts about this subject that you can't just stick your finger on one thing. Why is there so many leftover women in China? Well, uh, there's 101 different reasons why there's so many leftover women in China. I should make a video about all of the leftover men in China. 33.5 million leftover. There's a lot of lonely hearts out there. I'm telling you, if keep the, okay, uh, to put this in perspective, if everybody in Canada was a guy, yes, if everybody in Canada was a guy, 
they'd all be single. The whole country would be single. Think about that. Think about the, the magnitude of the number of people that will never have a wife in China because they just don't exist. Plus, all the leftover women in China. Okay, so it's not 33.5 million. It's, it's more than that because there's so many extra leftover women. So, uh, yeah, something to think about, eh? I've been to a number of marriages in, in, in China, not in the city. Oh, uh, next week, actually on Sunday, and it's Thursday now, so that's the first city wedding that I'm, that I'm going to. Uh, a friend of ours' is, uh, kid is getting married, yes, but all the, other, all the other weddings that I've ever been to have been in rural China. And Dung uh, Dung's cousin, and really good looking guy, poor from a village, you know, sort of the, the farmer type Chinese person. And he was distraught over and over again because there was just no women in his community that he could marry. And then he found a wife. Oh yeah, we were gonna be there. We were, actually I made a video about it. Cruise back into my videos and find that one. That was a, that was a good one. I think one of the main reasons for, for leftover women in China is that uh, Chinese people are basically shy. They, they don't talk to each other uh, unless, see, I'm a, a social butterfly and so is Wei Fong. So when we come in contact with people, we talk to them and we yarble. We call it yarbling. But a lot of Chinese people, they're not like that. They're, they're shy and it's really hard to meet somebody when, you, when, you're, when you're shy. Damn bugs. See, December 12th and there's mosquitoes out here. Yeah, gotta love it. So if you're not a person that ha is sort of extroverted, if you're an introvert, then you're scared to talk to people. And a lot of the, the Chinese people are like that, where they're, they're, I don't know, scared to talk to people, or they're, they're just shy is what it is. And uh, that makes a big difference in your ability to meet people. So it's not just the culture of China as some people would have you believe. It's, it's, it's not just uh, the way China is as a country with the one-child policy. It's got to do with people moving to the city, uh, people don't like each other. Maybe you meet somebody and say, nah, I don't like him uh, or I don't like her. Uh, that you're scared to talk to people or that uh, you don't want to get into a relationship with somebody that doesn't have money. You don't, you know, there's all of these things that, that are part of this leftover woman phenomenon. And uh, it's, it's portrayed as a, a national problem, but it's not. It's a normal place. I wonder how many uh, women over the age of 32, so I'm using, <laughs> I'm using Wei Fong's uh, age, what I better, over the age of 32 are there in the United States, the percentage, or over the age of 32 in Canada. Some of you techies out there that know how to do this stuff, uh, find out how many over the age of 32 in China, the United States, and Canada on a percentage per capita. And uh, I'll post it on one of my next videos because I don't think it's any more here than anywhere else. It's just that China has such a large population that it's that it's more prevalent. It's it's one of those things that there's just way more women than than that aren't married than in any other country. But it's because of the circumstances it's not because of the political environment it's not because of the culture it's 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 basically because of the things that I've talked about in this video and that's another video from Grey Lao 60 if you like this video as always like comment subscribe push that share button and thanks for watching don't forget to hit the bell and check your subscribe button because every time I stick out a video somebody says I've been unsubscribed. So check your subscribe button. YouTube, I'm, I'm getting pissed off at you.
Yeah, I'd like to talk to you about uh, the Helping Hands Foundation that we've started on the Patreon account. We've turned the Guaylao 60 Patreon account into a, a Helping Hands Foundation for poor rural Chinese children. And uh, there, are, there are a fair number of them, especially in the places like Bama and, and whatever. So if you've got a couple bucks in your pocket, hit the, hit the little link on top here that comes up that says, uh, like, make me proud, support the children, help the children. And you can put a couple dollars a month on the Patreon account. It would be greatly appreciated. Today we're going to be talking about... Yes, leftover women. <laughs> so, Wei Fong. And hey. you bring a, a leftover woman. <laughs> so, with you. And, I, and I bring my wife with me. So, Wei Fong, when, when, when I met you, you were 32 years old. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Were you a leftover woman? I guess, I think so. <laughs> you, you, you guess, you think so. There's a, there's a lot of reasons why there are leftover women, and we're going to be going through a number of those reasons and there's not just one reason for this but if you think about it there's 33.5 million more guys than there are girls in China so why are there any leftover women doesn't make any sense does it huh why were you a leftover woman <laughs> because because why my point is a little bit too high I guess you and you, you, you wanted something better? Yes. Ah. I don't want to just say, oh, because to the age I need a married, and then I just find someone to get married. You didn't want to just pick anybody? No. You waited for Mr. Wonderful? Mr. Right. <laughs> Mr. Right, okay. 